Volunteers are the lifeblood of the church. I mean, imagine you walked in on a weekend and there's no volunteers. Nobody to greet you at the door, nobody to help you check in your kids, nobody to help mix your coffee and get your drink ready, nobody to help run lights and sound in the auditorium. Who would be left? A handful of people that could do a handful of things. And from the very beginning of Granger Community Church, volunteers stepped in to fulfill roles that not all the staff could. I can't tell you how many times I've talked to people and they've told me this, the moment I stepped in to serve and volunteer was the moment that this church went from thousands of people to just a few. One of the best and easiest ways to get connected is to volunteer and serve on a team, any team, because you're meeting people, you're getting connected with them, you're feeling not so alone in this really large church. And all of a sudden, this, this big church becomes more like family. There's something inside of us that happens as the person volunteering, where there's a level of fulfillment that we cannot experience any other way. It is extremely rewarding to see changed lives happening right in front of your eyes. Every week I have um, volunteers who approach me and thank me for allowing them to serve because they're, they're coming away with more um, than they feel they're even giving. They're taking their own steps based on the conversations they're having with kids. In the process, they're getting closer to Jesus. There's always space to serve. There's always need. And we always want more people to join us in the mission of advancing God's kingdom here at Granger Community Church. We have volunteers that are serving in so many hidden roles. It's uh, making sure that the sidewalks are shoveled and clear of snow. It's the being available at the guest services kiosk. It's helping a child slide down the slide into their classroom. So don't be sitting in your seats thinking that there's not a space for you. There's a place for you to serve somewhere here in this church. Sometimes people think they need a special set of skills. I love that this church seeks to find people's shape. Whatever God's given you to do, that's what God says, yes, that's important to me, for my kingdom. You may try something that you realize, oh, that's not really what I want to do. That's okay, then go try something else. I just want to encourage you to take a step. We can't do this without volunteers. We need you. Because here's what I believe. If you decide to volunteer, you will impact the life of someone, and your life will be impacted.